So you just got yourself a brand new iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Pro and are wondering what are a few awesome tips and tricks, what are the first few things I should do before I start using this iPhone as my daily driver. Well, in this video we're going to show you a bunch of awesome tips and tricks and of course the first things which you should do with your iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Pro. If you feel that we have missed out on an awesome tip and trick or a pro tip which you want everybody else to know about make sure you leave it in the comments on this video the first thing i recommend you do when you take your brand new iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro out of the box is to remap the action button to your liking so the alert slider is no longer there but you do have the action button and you can customize it by going into settings and then going to action button out of the box it is set to silent mode and to use the action button you have to press and hold the action button to perform the action which you want it to so there it is a press and hold is switching between silent and ring you can go into your action mode settings and switch between say a focus mode a camera mode or even the flashlight and the shortcuts application is also present over here which means that you can open any application which you want by creating a shortcut so action button make sure you remap it to your liking the next thing i recommend you do with your brand new iphone 15 pro max is to create a contact poster now do note you have to be signed into your apple account to create a contact poster which i am not on the 15 pro max but here on the 12 mini i am signed into my apple id so to create a contact poster you open the contacts application and then you can go into my card here and you tap on edit on the top right tap on edit one more time and you should be able to create your new contact poster and once you've set up your own contact poster all your contacts will see an awesome contact poster when you call them now do note that ios 17 right now is kind of buggy and it does take a few minutes for the contact poster which you create to sync across your contacts and of course we do have a detailed tutorial showing you how to use customize change delete the contact poster those videos are linked in the description of this video next up we will go into the settings sound and haptics and check out a few settings over here so if you want to show in status bar that your phone is in silent mode make sure this toggle is enabled and this i think is something new which they have added because the alert slider is no longer there and you can no longer look at the side of your phone to know whether it is in silent mode or not so they have added this option now once it is enabled here it is on the top left in my status bar you can see that my phone is in silent mode if i disable this option of show in status bar that icon disable appears so that is something which you need to decide and while we are on this page if you ever want to change your ringtone with the volume rockers by default it changes the media volume but if you want to change the ringtone all you have to do is enable this toggle of change with buttons then i always find it irritating if somebody is around me on their iphone and typing and i literally i literally hate that key click noise so if you want to ever turn it off go into keyboard feedback and turn sound off and i personally keep the haptics enabled because that tells me that i pressed on a key but it doesn't bother the people around me the sixth thing which you need to do when you take your iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro out of the box is to make sure whether you want to enable screen distance or not so if you have kids who are using your phone you do not want them super close to your iphone right so with ios 17 apple added a new feature if you go into settings screen time screen distance bam here it is to reduce eye strain and the risk of myopia in children screen distance will alert you to hold an iphone or ipad with face id at a recommended distance you select continue on both those options and bam here it is screen distance is now enabled the next thing you would want to do with your brand new iphone 15 pro max is to customize the 
control center to your liking how do you do that well you go into settings then you have a section for control center here in at the bottom more controls with the plus sign these are all the controls which you can add to your control center the included controls with the minus sign these are the ones which you can remove if you want to so let us try to add dark mode by default it is added at the bottom so here it is this here is dark mode if you want to move anything around press and hold move it up bam there it is dark mode is now besides the flashlight so yes go ahead and customize the control center to your personal taste for our next set of tips and tricks for the iPhone 15 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro, we are going to head into the display and brightness settings. So here and of course, if you select automatic, you can set a schedule for dark mode. Me personally, I like to have dark mode after say, 6 p.m. till like 6 a.m. in the morning but you can always configure that over here then the other thing which i always keep enabled is raise to wake and i always turn off always on display i know it is a good feature a fancy feature but it also results in battery drain now if you do want to keep on always on display i do recommend that you turn off the option of show wallpaper in which case this is how your dark mode is going to look like without the wallpaper being displayed thereby trying to save you some more battery for our 11th tip and trick for the iphone 15 pro max and the iphone 15 pro if you find this search icon on your home screen irritating i mean i personally find it super irritating because you can always access the search by swiping down you can always disable this how do you do that well you go into settings home screen and app library here it is search show on home screen disable this toggle bam here it is the search icon on the home screen has now disappeared i personally prefer to use swipe down to open the search option the next thing which you should do when you take out your iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro out of the box is to customize the lock screen so with my device unlocked i can swipe down from the left and that gets me to my lock screen press and hold over here you get the option of customize however you can add multiple lock screens as well you have a bunch of different options you can choose photos photo shuffle emoji whatever you want to use so let us try to use this emoji one tap on the clock you should be able to change the font the color you can choose any color which you want you do have a rgb picker over here and then once you are happy with the results you select on add but if you want to add widgets you have the option of adding widgets as well and you can also switch between different options so here it is select add on the top right and say set as wallpaper pair bam here it is this here is my new lock screen so the possibilities here are endless when it comes to customizing the lock screen on your iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro the next thing you might want to change with your iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro is the setting for standby mode so you do have something called standby mode wherein if your phone is connected to a charger and you put it in landscape mode like this straight right then standby mode kicks in but it does turn off after a few seconds if you want it to be on all the time you do need to enable your always on display and then this setting over here which says always on for our 14th tip and trick for the iphone 15 pro max and the iphone 15 pro this is about security so if we will go into settings then you will go into face id and passcode now right now i do not have a face id setup on this iphone 15 pro max but if you do have a face id setup make sure that all these toggles are enabled so use face id for iphone unlock itunes and app store wallet and apple pay password autofill then the most important setting over here is require attention for face id because this is going to provide an additional level of security by verifying that you are looking at the iphone before authenticating so this ensures that it's not an accidental face unlock or your eyes are open so again make sure for security purposes require attention for face id is enabled on your iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro for our next thing to do with your 15 pro max and the 15 pro this is about prolonging the battery not increasing the screen on time but increasing the battery longevity if you're planning to use or keep your 
iPhone for a long time. Well, you need to go into settings, then you will go into battery. Now, a pro tip over here is if you want to enable, which I generally do, is enable battery percentage. Who wants to see the bland battery icon? I think they should just get rid of the battery icon and make it a number over here. But we are here for battery health and charging, and herein go into charging optimization. You see, by default, out of the box, optimized battery charging is enabled. But with the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max, Apple added the option of 80% limit. Once you select this, your iPhone will only charge to a maximum of 80%, which does increase the longevity of your battery and it is going to keep your battery health in good condition so right now as you can see out of the box the maximum capacity for me is 100 percent now if you've gotten a brand new 15 pro max or the 15 pro and your maximum capacity is not 100 percent i would personally go ahead and return that iphone to apple and get a brand new one because i want my battery health to be 100 percent if i'm buying a new iphone the next thing i recommend you do with your iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Pro is figure out do you want to be tracked or not. Do remember you are the product. So let us go into settings, then you will go into privacy and security. Go into tracking now. By default, this option is checked. So this toggle says allow apps to request to track. So if any application wants to track you, it will ask you, hey, can I track you? But you cannot be like, oh, I don't want to be tracked never ever again. So all you have to do is turn this toggle off. Now, once you've turned off allow apps to request to track, then all new app tracking requests are automatically denied. Another awesome feature which I highly recommend you enable is the ability to automatically clean up authentication codes. So if you go into settings, go into passwords herein of course you will have to enter your pin and please do not never ever use the pin which i am using in this video but we will go into password options herein you will see the option of clean up automatically and this toggle is under verification codes so automatically delete verification codes in iMessages and mail after inserting with autofill so this is going to automatically delete the two-factor authentication codes which you get a pretty nifty feature to enable Another feature which I do recommend you check whether it is enabled or not is live voicemail. So you need to go into settings, then you will go into phone. Herein, you will see something called live voicemail. Make sure this is enabled because this is a pretty nifty and a pretty awesome feature. If someone is calling you, you do not answer the call, it goes to voicemail. Well, while they're leaving their voicemail, you can actually see on your screen what they are saying and then you do have the option of answering the phone call in case it is something super urgent which cannot wait and that is what they're telling you in the voicemail for our next set of tips and tricks and first things to do with your iphone 15 pro max and the iphone 15 pro we're going to go into the camera settings for starters let us open the camera app now here and you will notice if you tap on this one x it is going to change the focal length so you can change it to 24 28 35 also you can set it to be a default to whatever focal length you want to be in for that you will go into settings then you will go into camera and here and you need to scroll down go into main camera so you do have additional lenses of 28 and 35 by default it is 24 mm but let us say you want to shoot by default 10 35 mm you select that option and now let us go back to the camera application bam here it is by default i am in 35 millimeter focal length which is 1.5 x and while we are in the camera settings you can also make a bunch of changes over here as well so record video i prefer to keep it as 1080p at 60 fps and then auto fps i keep it as automatic and the next thing i generally do is go into formats and i keep it as most compatible now out of the box the camera capture is set to high efficiency which means that your photos and videos will be stored in HEIF and HEVC format. Me personally, I have a bunch of 
other devices like my android phones my windows computers so i prefer to keep it as most compatible because that is going to save the pictures as jpeg and the videos as h.264 then if you want to change the photo mode to 12 megapixel you can do that as well i personally prefer to keep it as 24 another few things which you can change is the option of enabling the grid and the level what this is going to do is it is going to give you a grid in your viewfinder when you're taking a picture and then if your phone is in a straight line it will show you a level as well which will make sure that your object or the subject whose picture you're trying to capture is at the center of the pictures which you take and there it is peeps those are all the tips and tricks and the first things we recommend you do when you get a brand new iphone 15 pro max or the iphone 15 pro and of course if there's a pro tip which you feel we have missed out on and you want everybody else to know about it make sure you leave it in the comments on this video